The Youth Engagement Conference was co-created and co-facilitated with young people and staff from Head Start. Welcome to the Youth Engagement Conference 2019. The aim? To bring together pupil resilience committees from schools across Blackpool, celebrating the success of Pupil Voice, sharing learning and building momentum to drive Pupil Voice and the Resilience Revolution forward. The day was crazy busy with over 120 pupils in attendance. So the conference has kicked off and we're now in our workshops. We've got three workshops going on at the minute. We've got the digital workshop, we've got the recipe for resilience and we've got the campaign workshop going on. So we're here in the digital workshop to see how schools can use di digital technology to better their resilience programmes. What does a pie and this resilience in work have in common? Well, we've been asking young people as part of our recipes for a resilience community workshop to think about what perfect ingredients and what differences they bring together to form part of a resilience committee that is contributing towards Head Start's re resilience revolution. We have the peas in the pod because we all can all stick together and we can separate but we're all a team. And we have sweet and savoury together shows that even though we're all different people then like we can still work together sometimes. So anybody know what campaign it is? Oh, isn't it where you're trying to get uh, people to believe you and almost join your side? To believe in what you're saying and to join in. And to, that's hitting the nail on the head right there. So in this workshop we're talking about campaigning and we've created seven steps to running a campaign and thinking about what are the issues or the problems in your school that you might want to change. Remember when school dinners, you have to, you have to wait for like ten minutes just to get your lunch just to be able to eat for like 10 minutes and that's 20 minutes off your lunch. And working through that step by step by step by step to hopefully achieve your change in the school. And listening to fellow young people deliver inspiring talks about how pupil voice has helped them. The conference brought together all of our learning around co-production into a fun, purposeful and engaging celebration. So oh, right now we've got everybody in the room writing down on a white tile why student voice is important to them. There's lots and lots of different reasons for all the kinds of uh, things that they get up to in school, but why is the common thing of having a voice important? And each of these tiles is going to make up one big jigsaw to show why student voice is important and why we need to keep doing it. It was amazing to see young people, teachers, practitioners and decision makers alike all equals, all learning, all recognising that pupil voice has a place in schools in enabling young people to build their resilience and make change happen. Uh, so I'm just here from, with one of the fantastic members of the High Furlong Committee. Do you want to introduce yourself? Yeah, my name's Jack and I'm from High Furlong. Uh, what are some of the things that you and the committee have got out of today, you know, visiting here with all the other schools? And well, stuff? it's nice to interact with other people so you can hear other people's ideas their information what they think brilliant yeah. what's something you're going to take back to your school as, as your resilience committee well i think it's good to take for information off other people as well they've got good ideas so it can help with other schools and other people learn of each others tell us some resilient moves that you've made today belonging yeah having a laugh a little bit i'd say Co-production and pupil voice has enabled young people to feel motivated, aspired, valued, purposeful, with a sense of belonging and confident and able to make a difference in Blackpool. Pupil voice has changed my life, now it's time for it to change yours.